What's up guys, Double Dog Gamer here. Today we're playing a new flight simulator that's available to play test on Steam called Nuclear Option. It can be used on the mouse, keyboard, or joystick and allows you to use nuclear weapons in it. This has single player missions, a mission editor, and multiplayer, and it is a lot of fun. It's not crazy, you know, hard to get into like DCS. It's got a lot of really fun features to it. To get in there, just get in a multiplayer server, start lobbing missiles and nukes all over the place. This game is simplistic enough that anybody can get into it, but fun enough that most of the flight sim guys will really enjoy this game. I'm really liking it. It's been a lot of fun, especially launching tons of nuclear cruise missiles through multiplayer servers. But um, I'm excited to see what this game has, and I want to show you a bit of what it's about. All right, guys. So the thing you want to probably see the most, we're going to use the nukes. We are in the, I think it's like the Dark Spear, the big, big bomber. We have four 20 kiloton nuclear cruise missiles, and we're going to fire all four of them at the same target. We just got to take off. This thing is a big old girl. Come on, a little faster, a little faster. All right, gear up. And we'll start our turn towards the target, like pretty much immediately. 20 kilometers away. All right, let's get this started. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Peace, guys. There they go. On their way. So we're going to chill. Oh, God. Not climb. Until they reach the target area, which is going to take a hot minute to do. So we're going to chill and just kind of go right on over here a little bit. This is cool that, like, we get nuclear weapons, man. Like, this is what this game is all about. Using nuclear cruise missiles like it's World War III. I'm excited. 5.7 kilometers. Those missiles still have a ways to go to the target area. All right, they should be getting close any second now. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> they actually didn't make it to the target area. Oh, my God. Oh, they did. Oh, okay. Oh, is that the blast that's going to hit us? Whoa. Oh, whoa! Dude, they hit all... Dude, what? It targeted something else, too. Oh, that's cool, dude. Look at those nukes. That's badass, man. Alright, so we're in the uh, F-15 looking thing. We got a Hunter Convoy down. Dude, these aircraft look pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's find this convoy and fire some like Maverick type weapons at them. Let's see what we can do. Hmm, not seeing anything. Let's slow down just in case we're like right over them. Which we might end up being. Pretty sure they'll be like, oh, there they are. I already see them. And y'all and fire. Fire. And y'all and fire. We got one, it looks like. Two. All right. But we're out of those weapons. We got to switch to these. Oh, what the hell? What the hell did you just shoot at me, you son of a bitch? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They got like proximity round 40 millimeters or something. <laughs> okay, well, fuck those guys. Let's just uh, swing around again. And we'll hit them again. Line breaker APC. Nice, he's dead. Okay, so that was probably the one. Linebackers are usually the air defense ones, the M6s. So that was probably the guy shooting at us. So we'll just keep swinging around and hitting some more stuff. I mean, it's a fairly simple game. It ain't no DCS. But it's like a fun little game. Line breaker. Yep. I got four more to go. Nice. Okay. Literally four more targets, too. Kill the engine. One, two. And we're all out of that.
Gun run, baby. Woohoo! Oh god. Ah, we're gonna crash! <laughs> So we're doing like the campaign and we have a bunch of different aircraft to choose from like this little prop cr cricket which is the only thing i can actually fly believe it or not the ta-30 the fs-12 revoker and then the huge dark reach bomber which has the nukes and i'm kind of limited to what i can bring out um weapon wise so well, i guess we'll take this out and see what we can do uh, we're starting off at the main air base, believe it or not. We have to capture an enemy airstrip. Oh, at least the runway's right here. That's cool. for takeoff and lift whoa all right now we'll start making our way to the target area we got to capture the airstrip enemy fighter over there though Oof, i don't know about that a triangle red triangle is an enemy fighter so that's kind of worrisome there's also another enemy aircraft coming in on the left there oh there's a bunch oh boy Oh, no. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> well, the fighter jet hit him. He defeated it. And those two fighters, oh my god. I'm in danger, dude. Oh, what's that? What's that? Hello? Nope. There we go. Main battle tank, five kilometers. I don't know. Main battle tank and fire. He's all alone. Sucks for him. Adios, amigos. Oh, <gasps> no! It hit the power pole! <laughs> oh, no, dude. That sucks. There we go. Cool. All right. Switch weapons. Oh, oh, there's a little cricket thing right here. He just took off from it, so I think we're going to target him. Can I hit him with one of these? Let's find out. Oh, boy. I almost hit him. Okay. We're going in for guns here. Oh no! Stall, stall. All right, we're doing some air to air. This will be a little different. Wow, that's a lot of enemy fighters. Let's see what we can possibly do with this. This fighter is so much faster than that little prop plane that we just had. We'll see what we can do with this. low behind the hill I fired one IR missile huh. where'd he go I lost him Wow, what was that? Stall. An AIM-9X? Engine no! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Well, that sucks.
Well, boys, I hope you enjoyed my look at the playtest for Nuclear Option. This is a pretty cool game, man. I think a lot of people could get into it and really enjoy the hell out of it. If you like it, you want to check it out yourself, go on Steam, type in Nuclear Option, join the playtest, quick little button, get in there, try it out. I'm really looking forward to what they do with this game. They have a lot of room to really mess around and do some really cool stuff. Maybe even do, like, ground vehicles eventually. But I think this game has a pretty bright future for those that really don't want to deal with the War Thunder grind nor all the crazy learning that you have to do with DCS. But if you guys enjoyed this game, leave a comment and a like. Let me know what you think of it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.